It's time for real tracks. Oh, Doctor Who! Amazing guys. Wait, wait, which one of the doctors is it? Wait, Peter Cushing, the guy who played Grand Moff Tarkin in Star Wars? The British Dick Van Dyke. Oh, so he'll do an indescribably bad Brooklyn accent? The launch of the world's first porta potty was exciting. Bring the human sacrifice, uh, uh, Ian. Come on, Grandfather. I'm coming, darling. Just having a few quick strokes here. Oh, oh it's gonna oh. throw this poor bastard around the whole movie, aren't they? <laughs> Grandfather, look! More dinosaurs, and they're eating Newman. Uh, Doctor Who. I've thoroughly pooped myself in fear. Do you really want to be around that? It was a hand. It touched me. Might have been Woody Allen. I'm not I sure. Don't know who. Now what have you done now, you f idiot? I'm gonna get crunk on alien juice later, dweebs. It was a steep climb, wasn't it, Susie? I fear I'm not long from the grave. That's it. Whatever you say, doddering old man. No dorks allowed. Thank goodness the aliens are into pastels. I'll fit right in. Well, so much for that. Might as well become Craig Ferguson. Someday, with any luck, I'll be Grand Moff of a place like this. <gasps> My god, we're surrounded by memes. This planet is a high level of radiation. Ian, you're now this double impotent. I'll go. <laughs> oh, please, Ian. That was a shamefully fake flop, even by NBA standards. I can't believe I've gone from Olivier's Hamlet to a bloody robot romp. You people should be ashamed! Hmm. Meat thermometer. Nice. No, no, jam it. Jam it. Jam it, yeah. Up your butt. We're dumb as rocks! They're bringing the souls into a trap. No, no kidding. kidding. <laughs> we will go to the city of the Daleks in the morning. And sort the bodies in the evening. We'll use our own poop. Speed is essential. No time for even one quick pratfall. Get the hell in there! Yeah, back in 65, watching this scene, a young British boy decided to say the hell with everything and became Sid Vicious. Give me a hand. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda with the Daleks on this one. Exterminate these dopes, they gotta come. Ugh, sorry I'm late, a dog stopped to take a whiz on me. The Daleks are not going to like my upcoming Yelp review. Supposing the Daleks come out of their city and attack you? Then they will find themselves in a most wicked slap fight. But you can rebuild it, man. Now surely that is something worth fighting for. Eh, yeah, nah. Lad, comb my mustache, would you? In one hour, we will be so masters of this planet. Sounds great. Thanks for the heads up, Carl. And a deadly swamp. Crawling with R-O-U-S's. We will send a small party that way. Small as in that little girl. Friend. Uh, FYI, when I get nervous, I sing song selections from Les Mis. The Daleks have the entire city surrounded with electronic instruments. Fortunately for us, those electronic instruments are Teddy Ruxpins they bought at a garage sale. First the fire swamp, now the cliffs of insanity. This movie totally ripped off The Princess Bride. But The Princess Bride came 23 years later. Oh, Mike, this movie is a TARDIS, you poor naive idiot. I wear these stirrup pants to give the world a better view of my ass. Hope they didn't waste my money. Huh? People? It's working for you? Can you see my yes, ass? Yes, we can see it. You sure? Because I can chuck these things right no, off. No, 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 no. Double dramatic prairie dog. So anyways, on our planet, they make a cheeseburger where the bun is a glazed donut. <laughs> hey, uh, how's that famine thing working out for you guys? Yes, brilliant. This will tease the hell out of the Dalek's cat. The Daleks have split the atom and soon hope to invent a countdown timer they don't have to narrate themselves. Now it is up to us. What can we do? We can make friends with them to death. We can fight! That stick was our best weapon, you idiot. How do we get in? Well, the last door seemed to be triggered by ham-fisted tomfoolery. Stay where you are! Oh, he threw his rope at him. They go from Gandhi to Paul Pot in no time at all. Wow, violence is not just a necessary evil, it's also incredibly fun! Who wants to beat up a nun? Rush in blindly! The plan can only hinder us! Susie, are you alright? What happened? Did the funny robots destroy those creeps with the bad haircuts? But we would like you to take these, to remember us. A plastic robe? This is so worth the already developing tumor. Thank you so much. God. 
Oh, God, they smell awful. We can hear you in there, but it is true. <laughs> and as a man's justified terror is played for comedic effect, Doctor Who and the Daleks comes to a close. So, uh, what'd you learn, fellas? Well, after watching Doctor Who for the first time, I learned that some stereotypes I've held my entire life are completely justified. I learned that even a movie this stupid didn't have anything in it called unobtainium. And I learned not to search the erotic Dalek tag on DeviantArt.com. So I'm gonna stop doing it relatively soon. Goodbye, everyone, from RiffTracks.com. So long. Riff Tracks. Some movies have it coming.